Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with uh, our 2020 Tops Update Baseball Double Header Break. That's a, that's a case of a hobby, 12 boxes there, and a case of jumbo, 6 boxes there for a total of 18 boxes. You can chase stuff like this and short prints and variations and whatnot, so it'll be, it'll be pretty fun. If you buy a full spot, you get a chance to win an extra spot. So let's take care of that right now. So thanks to these folks right here. These are the people who bought spots in full. And congrats again to the winners of those spots right there. Let's put, it, put you into this list here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times. Name on top. Extra spot. One, two, three, four. Nine. And I said 10, right? Yeah, six and a four. Tenth and final time. After 10 times, congrats to Yancey. There you go. You get that extra spot. So thanks to him for getting a spot straight up. Now let's do the team randomizer. Let's All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a four, five times. For both lists for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five, we've got Austin down to Austin. One and a four, five times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got the Nationals all the way down to the Mariners. All right, so Austin with the Nationals, Mike with the Padres, Austin Moser, we've got two different Austins here, twins, Johnny Cannon with the Pirates. Dale, you got the Diamondbacks. Bill with the Indians. Tyler Smith with the Rays. Austin S. with the Red Sox and Reds. Chris Parent with the Cardinals. Rick with the Braves. Austin S. with the Brew Crew. Ron with the Yankees. Hunter with the Mets. Derek with the Rockies. Austin with my Dodgers. You also have the Astros. Yancey with the Cubs. Joe M. with the Phillies. Yancey with the spot that you won, the Oakland A's. Austin with the White Sox, David with the Giants, Austin with the Orioles, Yancey with the Angels, Austin with the Rangers, Ross with the Royals, Austin M with the Tigers, Bill with the Blue Jays, Joe P with the Marlins, and Austin Silva with the Mariners. Now for those of you who are able to see this, if you're watching this later, YouTube went down around the world tonight, but like I think chat kind of works. Some people can actually see the stream on their phones, but not everybody. Some people can see it on their laptops or their uh, PCs. Not everybody, though. So maybe we'll keep this a short trade window. I got both cases right here. We'll do the uh, we'll do the uh, hobby version first. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to trade. So let's just close up the trade window. Kyle, you can see now. All right. Okay. Kyle N is back. All right, so let's settle into this long one here. Ooh, this hobby's, the hobby is heavy. I got Ken Burns baseball in the background right here. No, no help today. This is just a solo. It probably takes me two and a half. Three hours. We'll do a recap at the end, everybody. We'll just recap the autograph or relic. 
Um, in the hobby set right here, the autographs are few and far between. Last time we did this doubleheader, there's only one autograph in the entire uh, in the entire hobby case. Hopefully YouTube will come back soon. Hopefully it was just a little blip in the world. But I guess we're... I guess some people are starting to come back, so... Sorted out. All right, that's to 220. And we'll sleeve and top load all those just in the interest of time. We gotta breeze through these. And we'll have our team check the numbers on the bottom right there too for all the, uh, the variations and short prints and whatnot. We'll try to catch the uh, Luis Roberts and, and whatnot, Kyle Lewis's. What uh who won the who won the Cy Young? I should I should look that up. I know that was announced today, but I missed it. Bieber and Bauer bring Cy Young honor back to its roots. There you go. Bieber and Bauer. And it's unanimous for Bieber, and Bauer wins Reds' his first. Reds have never had a Cy Young Award winner in their history? Is that right? There's Jorge Lopez to 76, and the Stars and Stripes in the background there. Maybe we'll look for some Randy Arzarenas in here too. Jose Martinez. I feel like ours Arrain is in like a similar stance. Here's the hit in the box. It's Mike Trout. Piece of his all-star jersey. Nice. Did I print out that list? There it is.
There you go. So that'll go to Yancey and the Angels. My Trout Relic. Yeah, that's the one in San Diego where they wore the San Diego, old school San Diego colors. There's an Arizurania. And we've got Josh Lindblom to 220. Let's see what's in this uh, update series exclusive here. We've got Brewstar Gratterall, World Series champ, so Shogo Akiyama, Dale Murphy, and Josh Stomont. All right. Box two of 18. Sayon right there. I know. Yeah, it's it's been down. I I just think some people can actually see it on the app. And I'm just recording it. Yeah, let people know that we're just because it's this is like a two hour, two and a half hour break. So I was just like, I gotta start it. There's Mike Trout to 220. Nice. That's uh, again for Yancey with that one. Yeah, it's still. I'm. I'm still recording it. It'll still be uploaded, and you know, it'll be live to tape, as they say, in the TV industry. Kyle Lewis going to Austin Silva and the M's. 
And we got World Series champion Clayton Kershaw in the 2011 All-Star Game, 55 out of 69. Going to, it's got the Dodgers on my list here, Austin Silva with my Dodgers. We got a David Ortiz relic here, 120 to 199. That'll be for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Austin Silva. We got Trent Grisham to 220 for the Padres. That's going to go out to Mike G. All those Arozarenas will go to uh, Tyler Smith and the Rays. Bonus pack. Right, some nice cards there. All of those, of course, will ship. Only Vet Commons won't ship. And of course, we'll uh, look at the backs of the cards and make sure that all the and make sure all the short prints are pulled and shipped out as well. And all the rookie cards, of course, will ship. But I'll try to set aside those Arozarenas and Kyle Lewis's and Luis Roberts as much as, as much as I can. But if I miss some, our shipping team will definitely find them. Make sure they get to you. Think about it. I don't, I don't know if Robert is in this update. Maybe he was a Series 2 guy.
Hey. What can I do for you? Yeah. Kind of caught up on one. Oh, he got a couple of breaks in there. Yeah, you want to grab that break right down there? Maybe I'll, I'm leaving in a second. Oh. I'll just, maybe I'll, I'll let them know that you got one. Yeah. Because they're helping him out. Oh. When's Sean, when's Sean coming in? I could use his help. Maybe check out my car. My car's a, Oh, okay, okay. He's okay. going to be here at 5.30, but... All right. I guess I'm not going to have help with, with this break. Something that Sean would be able to help pack stuff, but it's all right. We got Christian Yelich. Going to Austin and the Brewers. Got Jacob deGrom. That must be a variation. Set that into the sleeve pile. Oh, the, the variations are flipped in hobby? Oh, in jumbo they're not, right? There's a sort of matte finish back right there to 99. Clayton Kershaw, another Dodger. He's got, finally got a chip. At Austin Silva with that one. There you go, Austin. That's right, they're flipped in hobby, but not in jumbo. Why wouldn't they do it in jumbo, Prim? Well, it make life a lot easier for me. Out of 220, Pedro Strope for the Reds. That goes to Austin Silva. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks, Prim. Let, can you can you let the folks know that I'm I'm obviously recording it, so it'll be uploaded, and it's gonna be, you know, exactly as as it would be if it was live. And that Prim is making, and that you're making sure that there's no funny business, Primrose. You're auditing. You're auditing the break. Here's the next one here. There's Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. All those Bo Bichette rookies, of course, will go to Bill.
sucks. And there's our one hit per box. Chris Bryant, Relic. Cubbies, that'll go to Yancey. I think there's one more on the bottom, too, if you want to take oh, okay. a couple more. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Laser saying, it's back? What's back? It's back? The stream's back? Back for him. Maybe not for everybody. Okay, so, so far, I think it was... Was it Dennis from earlier? Dennis... Prim, and now Laser. Kyle, I think, checked in and said he had he had video and audio and all that. Out of two twenty or twenty twenty, Zach Ranky Astros. I like these old late eighties cards right here. I feel like for the for the Rays hitters, they used kind of the same stance <laughs> or the same finish for those guys. So it looks like that's why I'm always like pausing on some of those Rays cards. It's like, oh, is that rain? Oh, no, okay, is that rain? No, okay. And out of two, uh, out of twenty twenty is Domingo Leyva. Nope, Domingo Santana. Domingo Leyva is on the Diamondbacks. Domingo Santana is on the Indians. Bill with the Tribe. Laser, do you still have the stream? I want to make sure. Sometimes people get the stream and then it just drops on them pretty quickly. I'm not sure what's happening with YouTube, but it seems to be a YouTube-wide issue. Not just, not just us. We got Mike Moustakis. Got a black border right there, 67 out of 69. Or I think that might be our first Kyle Lewis. If I missed any Kyle Lewis's, then I'll, you know, our, once again, our sorting and shipping team does a great job finding all the stuff that I missed. And that'll be for the Mariners. That's going to go to Austin Silva and the M's. Oh, let's do this.
see it. Babe. Uh, yeah, you got the Cubs, Angels, and you won the extra spot, and that's the A's. There's the team list in the, uh, if, if your stream is just coming back, folks, there's the team list in there. Yeah, there was actually a Trout numbered card, I think to 99 or something like that. Didn't, I, didn't we see a Trout back there somewhere? I thought there was a Trout over in there somewhere. Yeah, you got this Trout, the numbered to 220 Trout. Yeah, and there's a trout relic too. I'll do. A, I'll do. A, there's gonna be a recap in a separate video. But yeah, there were a couple, and we're only five boxes in, so there's there's a long ways to go. If you can see, if you look on the top camera, you'll see six plus the seven right there. This is still hobby edition. There's Jesus Tinoco to 300 for the Rocks. That'll be for Derek Hamilton. Red Barber. I remember listening to Red Barber on the old uh, on the old wireless. Yeah, if you ever watch, they showed it on Ken Burns Baseball just right now. The way Babe Ruth swings, his like stance. There's Adalis Garcia to 220. It's crazy. No one does it. He has, he has like his legs crossed and then comes in and swings. I want to see someone in Major League Baseball today give that swing a go. Give a good Babe Ruth swing a go. There's another Arzarania for Tyler Smith and the Rays.
Yancey. Good try, Yancey. I, people have to be able to see the stream to be able to see Noir. There's Aquino. And this break's not over for another hour and a half. So maybe maybe encourage everybody a little bit later. There's Greg Garcia for the Padres to two to twenty twenty. But I'll bet by the time we finish this break that hopefully YouTube will be back to normal. And then then we can start encouraging people to get into the action. For you, Kyle, yeah, I think so. I, I think, I think for some people it is working, but I think for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are still. So you're one of the lucky ones. I think for a lot of people it's not. I think Yancey only just recently got it back, a few moments ago. Oh, the number watching has doubled since we started. Okay, so maybe more people. Oh, welcome back, folks. For some of you. I think YouTube was down everywhere, but... If you're back, welcome back. If you're hearing the sound of my voice. If you're watching live, it's 537 Pacific, 837 Eastern. So if you're watching live, thanks for rejoining us. We are uh, I'm ripping open box six of Hobby. We're 40, about 42 minutes into this break. Um, we went ahead and started it, even though I think some people were still able to see it live, like Prim, but I think for most of you, you weren't able to see it, but this break just takes way too long. We just had to get it started. So it's being recorded like we always do, and it'll be uploaded, and I'll do a recap video and a separate video as well. So you'll be able to see all the things that have popped. Logan, welcome back. I think Logan's able to see the stream again. All right. I know I'm probably missing a lot of short prints. Actually, our shipping team went through all the all the all the codes on the back and said there were really only a few. So, so we'll try to catch as many as possible. There's Josh Taylor to 2020 for the Red Sox. That'll be for Austin Silva. I'll try to catch as many Kyle Lewis's and Randy Arozarena's as possible. trying to flip these around, flip these right side up, and then it'll go back the other way. I have to just deal with, just deal with it being upside down and right side up.
Another Randy Arzurania. So I think this might be his first Topps baseball card in the Ra in a Rays uniform. So those are the Rays are definitely a big chase. There's usually there'll be a decent amount by the time the break is over. And obviously the stuff like update. You know, you want to grade these. You want to get grade like some of the top players, and it'll have some great long-term value. Especially for the uh, especially for the top rookies. And oh, I got a decade's best. Maybe that's a variation. We'll set that aside. I want to, if, if I remember correctly, I think Luis Robert is not in this update. I really think Kyle Lewis and Arzurania might be your big chases. Arzurania especially. I think we've seen Kyle Lewis in, in previous breaks, previous product. Same with Bo Bichette. We've seen a lot of him in previous product as well. Got, oh, gotcha. Robert has inserts, but not base, right? He must have been in Series 1 or 2. What's up, Thunder? But yeah, there, there's a reason. I, I know it's kind of a long break, and you're wondering, wow, people really want it. Some, some of you may be thinking, oh, that's nice. Speaking of Bo Bichette, 3 out of 10, acetate. That's nice. See, so with the volume of cards here, low-numbered stuff like this gets... Gets even more value. Bill with the Blue Jays. There you go, Bill. Three out of ten. But yeah, the whole the reason why this is such a desired break for for sharp collectors is that uh, you see a lot of these update products graded and in repack products. There's definitely a reason why they're in repack products because they carry some great value. There's Gary Sanchez, Yankees. Yankees, that'll be for Ron Held. We got randomized the Yankees. And then we got Yoshi Sutsugo. That's a variation right there. I'll set that aside. It's another Ray for Tyler Smith. All right. We're half. Oh, spoke too soon. Check out the exclusive pack stuff here. Tatis Jr., Josh Donaldson, Sonny Gray, and Juan Soto for the Nats. Austin Silva with that one, 23 out of 150. All right, now we're officially halfway through this hobby case. That was about 50 minutes. Oh boy, this might be a three-hour break. So it'll probably take another 45 minutes to work through, well, maybe 40 minutes. Maybe there was some, some randomizing time earlier. Uh, maybe another 40 minutes to go with this, and then Jumbo should be a lot faster. There's only six, only six in Jumbo. And Jumbo should have a little more action visually. Um, if you're watching, because I think there's an auto, uh, an auto per box. That's right, Thunder. Settle in. There's there's a lot of, a lot of time to go.
right, next box. Good luck. And if you're just joining us, welcome. I think YouTube may, may be working again. Another Mike Trout relic for Yancey and the Angels. If you're just joining us and you're in this break and need to see what teams you got randomized, let me know. And I'll let you know. Miguel Cabrera, 17 out of 50, decades best. Yeah, he's been pretty. He's been pretty good. Uh, Tigers. That'll be for Austin Moser. For the M's, that'll go to Austin. And we got Brendan McKay. Must be a variation. There he, is, there he is hitting. I hope they let him do that. Tyler Smith has the raise. He can hit and pitch. And I hope they uh, let him do both. I think that would be hashtag good for the hobby. And after watching a bit about Babe Ruth and Ken Burns baseball, it's on in the background on MLB Network. Yeah, I definitely want to see more of that happening. And we got to 2020, Albert Pujols for the Angels. There's Mookie Betts. And Jesus Lazardo is 116 out of 150 for the A's. That's for Yancey in his, uh, his early bird spot. All right. Plugging away. Next box. Exclusive pack on top, which you can see in the camera above my head. Yeah, you did, Yancey. All the people who bought full spots were randomized to see who gets an extra spot, and you got it.
I know, time to buy a lottery ticket. What's uh what's Mega Millions at? What's Powerball at? Powerball's at 158 million. Maybe it's maybe it's time for me to start playing. I'm not greedy. I don't have to hit all the numbers. I think even if you hit like what four numbers in the Powerball, you still get like two hundred thousand dollars or something like that, depending on what the you can still win a lot of money. I'll take that. I wouldn't mind. I'm not greedy. I don't need to win the whole thing. Is Chris Sale for the Red Sox? That'll be for Austin. Right, five without the Powerball is like 200,000. Yeah, that's, I'll take that, Yancey. I'll take that. That's not a problem. That's just enough where, uh, you know, you can pay, you can, you can get a lot of nice things. There's Cal Ripken Jr. You know, like out here in LA, be a, could be a decent, decent down payment on like a nice townhouse or condo or something like that in LA. Not a, maybe not house, but it's pretty nice. Or you can, I guess you can put all that money away and then invest it and then get house money. Right? That's what I do. I put like three quarters of it away for something like that. And then the other one's just, just fun money. You know, but you still you still have to like, I mean, it's not like quit your job money. So you kind of still have to work. You know, but maybe you, maybe I come into work with like a nicer backpack or something like that. <laughs> nicer shoes. I'd have like a, you know, maybe I'd have like a, a, a Gucci box cutter or something like that. And there's some Kel Cabrera in 2020, right? But not enough, not enough lottery money to like go insane or have people hit you up for money. You know, you hear all those horror stories about winning the lottery, so... Just enough money to invest a little bit, put, squirrel some away for some property, right? But not too much where you go crazy. Rick Serrano, what's going on? Yeah, you got randomized the Braves in this one. No, no big hits that I recall. No relics, no autographs, but we're still in hobby version. We're only just halfway through hobby, so I think... Uh, we saw the jumbo case to go, which might have some more ink in there, but nothing significant yet. No, Prim says if you win five dollars, people still hit you, hit you up. Yeah, maybe. You're probably right. There's Alex Wood to three hundred. There he is, World Series champ for my Dodgers. Thanks, Alex Wood. And there's that Luis Robert 
Insert. He's only inserts here, but that's pretty nice. White Sox, Austin Silva. Otani, Contreras, Demerit, and Mo Mariano Rivera. So pretty sharp cards too. All of these, of course, will ship. Next box, Obi-Wan, what's going on? Yeah, it looks like people's YouTube streams are coming back. <clears throat> but yeah, doing well, Obi-Wan. Hope you're doing well too. Leonti was saying he'd get some B Trump property with. I mean, if I won, yeah, if I won the lot lottery, yeah, we'll definitely get some B Trump property. There's some nice houses in Manhattan Beach, just just north of us here in Hermosa Beach, California. A lot, a lot of the, a lot of the single guy athletes, or maybe the the married married no kids athletes, live in this Manhattan Beach area. I think uh, someone we were talking a little while ago that um, I think Trendsetter was talking about it. We found Jared Goff's house. He moved to to North Hermosa Beach, South Manhattan Beach, kind of that border area. Got a pretty pretty nice house out there. Maybe he'll stop by the shop someday. Is there is do we have a modern day Babe Ruth like is that even possible anymore for a for an athlete to be at the top of his game but just just party as much as as much as the Babe did I mean there are some legendary stories of like there's Jason Kipnis to 2020. There's some legendary stories of like David Wells throwing a no hitter after after a night out. You know what I mean? But he was cute. He was a good, a very good pitcher, a great pitcher. But it's not like he was at the, the top of his game, the top of his profession. Maybe it just can't happen anymore with the way the way like nutrition and stuff like that is so. If it happens, it can only happen in baseball, I think. Spachemin? No, I'm not talking about spa the Spaceman. I'm talking about uh, uh, David Wells. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good attack, Jack. Yeah, if you could. Uh, this case? Well, these three, I'm going to give you those three boxes and then the jumbo, yeah. I think, I yeah, I think we're pretty caught up on shipping, so. So it looks like Sean's going to be able to help me pack sack, so this might go a little bit faster. Uh, we're talking about David Wells, who w went, out, went out on a night out and then threw a no-hitter. 
I'm talking about bread. Uh, could there be another? Is there another Babe Ruth type player? There's 67 out of 69. Joe Jimenez, Tigers. Is there another Babe Ruth type player out there? A player that's at the top of at the top of his game. That charismatic and influential, and that. I mean, no one's going to be like the Bay, but is there anyone that's even close? Because, like, you could say, like, Kobe or LeBron comes pretty close to the impact and influence that Jordan has. But I guess basketball is a harder sport to, to carouse the way the Babe did. George Springer. He's picking up from the dealership. People's interests are too very now. People had much fewer options back, so their focus was narrowed. I don't know what that means. There's Tino Martinez to 2020. You still watching baseball? Ken Burns baseball. This is the Babe Ruth episode. Did you hear uh, Vince Scully is uh, gonna commentate the uh, Dodgers World Series? Yeah, I did. I did hear that. You get it. How many copies are you gonna buy? I don't know. About 88. 30. <laughs> uh, what those over? Yeah. Let me actually. Get, I'll give you two. I'm gonna rip one. Yeah. There's Jonathan Daza to 99. All right, so you see Sean on the Nick Cam up there. Pass those two boxes over to him. I think there could be another Babe Ruth kind. I mean, Miguel Cabrera might be close. Miguel Cabrera had a few DUIs and still won triple crowns, but he didn't have like the eating hot dogs in a dugout. He didn't have the popularity of uh, of like. The babe, you know. I mean, I feel like his popularity at his peak was incredible, but then like Mike Trout came in and stole it all. Do you know what I mean? But Mike Trout doesn't carouse though. No, no, no. I'm saying like I, I mean like remember like when Mickey was at his top, like his triple crown and everything was right at the beginning of Trout's career, mm. and then it went like, oh god, it's Mike Trout. You know what I mean? Right. See, Mike Trout could be Babe Ruth if Mike Trout was like a womanizer and boozed up and gambled. Late into the night. He's such a nice guy. And then I know it's too nice. And then would come back the next day and hit like three bombs. Are you just doing like half in one stack, half in another? Yeah. Like two stacks. So it's, it's yeah, one box? Two, yeah, two stacks in one box. And when we leave the black pack sealed? Yeah, leave that sealed. Okay, I'll just put it on top. And then the second half of the double header is the, the jumbo case. Is that case, jumbo right? case behind you? Yeah. I figured out uh, a little tip from somebody on Instagram. The jumbo, the last six cards of the pack are where all the hits are. The last six cards of the pack? In the jumbo, yeah. Is where all the hits are? Yeah. Oh, okay. So like the foils, the short prints, the numbers, all that stuff. Also, no, Brad, I think you're, you must have missed the first part of the conversation. We're not talking about, like... Another Babe Ruth. I guess I, maybe I framed it wrong. We're, we're talking about not not that there could be another player like Babe Ruth, but just in terms of the charisma of Babe Ruth. Can an athlete, can the modern athlete, go out and carouse as much as the Babe did and still perform at a high level in the way the Babe did? May, I'm, maybe not. Maybe just modern athletes, today's athletes, the nutrition and 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 health and all that stuff is so specialized now. That uh, 
that uh, you just can't have that kind of partier who's also, you know, has that kind of, I don't know, charisma, I guess. Babe Ruth's daughter, or not granddaughter, granddaughter, good or bad, uh, spitting image of him. <laughs> he legitimately looked identical to him. I was like, oh my god. So yeah, I don't know. Baseball would be the only sport where you can do that. Where you can goof off. You know, not be a picture of health. Like, Sean and I can be baseball players. I mean, that's the beauty of the game. Clearly. You know what I mean? There's Derek Jeter. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. Right, that's kind of what I'm getting at, Brad. Like, imagine the social media posts of the babe. But he was still kind of beloved, though. Like who has who's the closest player to that? Yankees, Ron Held. Who's the closest person that could that could be outrageous and goofy, but people still kinda I don't think I don't know. People kinda go, ah oh, shucks, that's just Trevor Bauer? That's just Manny being Manny. Trevor Bauer? <laughs> maybe Trevor Bauer maybe? I mean he's got the social media stuff going too. Yeah. Derek Jeter, why is he flipped around? No. It's the blue border one. I was thinking, I thought there might have been autographs. autographs. Oh, it's on, uh, it's on MLB Network. Ken Burns Baseball. This is the, I think, episode three or four where they're getting to the Babe Ruth era. Yeah, Miguel Cabrera, I mentioned Vanilla Gorilla. You know, he caroused, and yet he still performed. But I don't know if he had the... That had the national popularity. I guess that's what I guess this is what makes the babe unique. Is that no one no one can really do that. Only the babe could do what the babe did. They should do another barnstorming series. That'd be kinda of fun. Right? How they do it is it like an all star team and then they go I, around or can you imagine like Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, just like traveling the country. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that'd be pretty fun actually. Like it's a like little mini home run derbies. Well, yeah. Throw in some, uh, what, G-Man Choi? Yeah. I guess, t I guess TV ruined barnstorming, right? Yeah. Like, that was the only reason, like, you would barnstorm in, like, these small farming towns just so you can finally see the babe, like, in living color, you know? Yeah. There's Albert Pujols. Babe Ruth is our modern day Paul Bunyan, though. You yeah. Know, it's just like, oh, well, and he hit the home run 600 feet. Globetrotter baseball. You know, like, he ate 12 hot dogs and a, and, a, and a barrel of beer, and then he went out and went four for four with four home runs. We need a modern version of Wade Boggs. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, Wade. You're Wade. A hot dogs in the stands and the fans? And just mash, yeah. I don't know if the babe pitched every night. I don't think. I don't think they. I think there was still kind of a rotation. I think it was like a three-man rotation, three or four-man rotation, though. I'm gonna start the jumbo back behind it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I think there were there were fewer games in the babe's time, right? 140 maybe, 130 games. There were far fewer games. So. They also didn't throw as hard. They were, right. as, as, as Nick would say, they were throwing the milkmen. They're throwing the milkmen, right. Right. So. I, I'll bet if Nick was here, Nick would say he could strike out the babe. <laughs> that sounds like something he would say. <laughs> like Nick would say he could out hit him. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, think, think, about I, think, he, I, think, I think Nick respects the babe's hitting. There's uh, Kyle Crick. <laughs> like a crick in the neck. Like, ooh. Doc, I got I got a crick. Excuse me, Kyle Crick? What'd you say? I got a crick in my neck. You got a U in your neck? No. <laughs> I got you gotta scratch me from the start today.
All right, there's Gavin Lux, AJ Puck, Juan Soto, and Kevin Biggio. I don't think McGuire was a partier. I think, oh, yeah, I uh, think McGuire was I think a partier. McGuire's known for being kind of a, a D. Conseco was the partier, right? Yeah. I think Conseco, I guess, could be the babe. Is it, could that be the closest no, God, approximation please, of the please babe? Don't, please don't he put those two he together. mashed home runs. He caroused. He partied. He's kind of charismatic. Yeah, I don't know what the people like to no. interview him. <laughs> people want to hear about him. These are the last two hobby boxes, folks, and we've people got, like, we've got like the the, the right-handed reliever coming in to help me with the jumbo case. People like being around him as much as they like being around Dennis Rodman, just for like the freak show portion of it, you know. Dennis Rodman, that could be that could be like Babe Ruth, ish. Oh, if we're gonna expand it to basketball, hundred percent. I mean, you got players, Rashid Wallace. No, but there's no, there's no way basketball players can get just can just like balloon up and just still rake, you know. Rashid Wallace, that guy Ellen. was. But she didn't get like fat though. I guess Charles Barkley kind of got round and and still played well, but he wasn't didn't but have. Rashid the... Wallace used to get ripped and then go play. That's like that's like that, like everyone has that one friend in college, right? Who can just party yeah. all night and go do go do stuff, and then uh, and then just ace the midterm mm -hmm. while you're studying all night. He's like, yeah, I was, you know, I was up till five in the morning and with Molly and there's Luis Robert, sixteen to fifty. Wow, Molly a person, right? That's a nice goal. That is for the White Sox, Austin Silva. Was it Rashid Wallace who came up with "Ball Don't Lie"? Um, or yeah. popular or popularize it? Maybe. I forget. There's someone who popularized "Ball Don't Lie." Who's a better Wallace, Rashid or Ben? Rashid, right? I think Ben at his Ben's peak. Pretty good. I feel like Ben at his peak was higher. That's always been a debate of mine. All right, see you, Ramon. Everyone, I feel like uh, I feel like Ben Wallace at his peak was better, but Rasheed Wallace had might like have a the longer, longer career. Yeah, longevity. Rusty Wallace, yeah. the driver? Yeah. Yeah, Rusty Wallace. Just American was, badass right was there. Was pretty good. <laughs> what did he did he drive the the Miller Lite car? Uh Is that Rusty Wallace's? I'm pretty sure this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, definitely don't know too much about the NASCAR. <laughs> I know uh Dick Trickle is one of my favorite. Um, For real yeah, person. there he is, Rusty Wallace. In the in the Miller Light too. That's where, that's what I remember him. What about the other other Rusty? Okay. It's <laughs> a real person too, guys. Old Rusty Wallace. Out of seventy six, there's Domingo Santana. Got the stars and stripes border right there. It looks pretty cool. Yancy says Ben got Bill. more blocks. Well, Ben was just a monster. Down Who did? It said, like, Babe Ruth. It said Babe Ruth on the front. Uh -huh. And it just had his autograph on the back. He would just hand them out to kids. I was like, that's awesome. That's pretty legit. Actually, you know what? That that sparks a memory. Um, Vince Scully said he, when he was a kid, he got yeah. Babe Ruth autograph yeah. like that. That he was in a group of kids. And the bay was there, and he, you yeah, know, and and was just like handed out a card with his autograph, which makes sense. It saves him time. That's, I mean, that's what I have to start doing. 
when I get mobbed. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, the, yeah. at the bank <laughs> and at the uh, grocery store and whenever I'm out and about. Uh, sir, can you please sign this for me? Yeah, here's my business card. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's just have just have cards to. Staple that to it. Everything's good. To hand out, just with my autograph pre-autoed on it. Oh, you know what? I've heard I have heard of that movie. I've not seen it though. I gotta check it I out. I watched it. There's Mookie Betts to 199. Mark Rubin pointing out a little NASCAR. Uh, Mark Rubin saying Grease Lightning with Richard Pryor was based on Wendell Scott's first African American NASCAR race. How about uh, how about Michael Jordan getting into the racing? Uh, apparently, Bob Wallace's new car, number, number 23. 23. I was like, oh my god, I can't lot. wait. I can't wait until they have the racing suits. A lot of merch. Can you imagine? How? Well, I think Denny Hamlin already has, already wears Jordan brand. Does he have Jumpman on there? He has Jumpman on. I think I'm pretty sure Denny. Wow. Denny Hamlin is on the drives the FedEx car. I think. I think he's he's part of that Jordan team now. So it's going to be. I think Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace might be teammates and oh, uh, Michael see, Jordan Racing. Did you see who's a new? Uh, Sponsored athlete of OVO, even though he's a uh, of what? What that? What's OVO? What's Drake's, OVO? Drake's company, clothing company. You know, OVO? With, with the, yeah, with the with the uh, owl on it. Little owl. Yeah. The owl's kind of cute. So it's a he's a retired athlete. You guess you can't guess who it is. A, a raptor? Nope. Retired athlete. Who's sponsoring Drake's Who's, clothing? Yeah. Who? Wayne Gretzky. What? <laughs> yeah. Wayne Gretzky's sponsored, uh, sponsored athlete. Of is OVO. the sponsored athlete of Drake's clothing line? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they got uh, advertising and everything with him. <laughs> There's Robert Stevenson for the Reds. That'll be for Austin. I was like, I mean, if you're gonna go for a Gretzky, I could, I'd go for his daughter. Interesting. I think all of his children are a handful. I think her name's Paulina. Something like that. Yikes. I heard that Vince Collie's grandchildren are also oh, yeah. also a mess. Yeah. yeah, Mark Rubin's like NASCAR. If it's good enough for him, Michael Jordan's good enough for me. I, I enjoy I enjoy the NASCAR. So I'm looking forward to I like top fuel. You like top fuel? Oh, that drag? Drag racing stuff. All right. That is fun. There's a there's the Irwindale Speedway near here that, that has a lot of fun. Back in the high school days. Drag, drag racing Dave nights. Lady, who, uh, Max Scherzer. Who was a uh, lady? She was, lady. She was a certified uh, traveling. Uh, what's it called? Top like, fuel driver. Babysitter for uh, some of the. Oh, a babysitter for. Because her her. Stepdad worked on a pit crew in one oh, of those. That sounds pretty fun. So like back in the day, Gary Selzy, she was like their go-to traveling. Andres like, Jimenez. Like um, babysitter. That's pretty fun. So I got to go to like the pits and stuff like that. I got to there's like, a there's a dirt track in Costa Mesa, I think. For like amateur stuff. Yeah, for like for like dirt track racing. Those uh, renegade race, whatever those little cars are called. With the scary wings and cages on them, I think they still they, they do a little bit of local dirt track oh, racing. Oh there. yeah, yeah. Um, you're talking about the Orange County Fairgrounds. The is that the, the is the that the fairgrounds? They, they do it at the. It loop. must be. That's probably the yeah, only yeah. place that they do yeah. it. Yeah. They have a during during the fair they do demolition uh, derby. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. I think that money actually goes to this. I don't know. It's like, there's Luis Robert. All the all these commercials are like, hey, if you stream this song, Jack Daniels will will send no. X amount of dollars. You know, you know what all that to is? Like, to is like, the money goes to them, but but Jack Daniels counts that as their charitable donation for tax uh, write-offs. It's like oh yeah, there's Danny Hamlin right there. Look at the side. There's a jump man right on his shoulder. Uh uh, it's, it's right you know what, I'm, uh, I'm boycotting FedEx right now. Why are you boycotting FedEx? Uh, our FedEx delivery driver 
the other guy. By the way, for the shot, I wore this shirt, this sweatshirt, the other day because it was cold. Uh-huh. Uh huh. FedEx delivery driver comes in, sees me wearing it. Here at the shop. Yeah. He goes, "So you wearing that with pride?" And I went, "No, I'm wearing it with shame." <laughs> like an idiot. I was like, uh, like "Screw you." Uh, guy. No one likes the Chargers. Listen. <laughs> you got clowned by the FedEx driver. <laughs> I mean, it was nice pretty, job. It was FedEx. pretty good by him. I was just like, "Screw you, guy." You don't know me. I could be Mr. Charger for all you know. I'm not. <laughs> I, I kind of like caught me off guard. I was like, "What? Yeah. Oh, okay." He thought he was going to be a friendly FedEx guy and then just, just dogs you. Yeah. All right, thanks, dude. Um, thanks to Sean right here. Here's three jumbo boxes right here. Three more on the cart right there. And then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. And then we can dive into some more orders. I see about 20 some odd orders right now. And I don't know if anything sold out. I think YouTube is back, though, which is good. Was it down? Yeah, it was down for a little bit. Nice. Yeah, thanks a lot, YouTube. Um, okay, we still have one number block left for Illusions Football. Let's knock that out by the end of this break. we got another 40 minutes to go, but let's knock that out by the end of this break. And then we'll get some more Illusions going. Looks like nothing else is sold out. Looks like Prism Draft Random Letter Break is sold out. All right, so we'll get, we'll get there. Opulence is sold out, but we just need to do the uh, that one filler break right there. It's in on on the break schedule if you want to check that out, folks. You can see what filler we need to do, or just visit jaspyscasebreaks.com. Oh yeah, Rex. Yeah, I actually did not see how the voting breakdown went for the Cy Young Award. It was Bieber and Bauer. Looks like Bauer picked a good time to win a Cy Young Award. He's a free agent. You get too much money. Hugh Darvish got second place for Cy. Who got second place in the Was it Ryu AL? in the running? I think he was. Actually, Kenta Maeda and Hyunjin Ryu lost out to Shane Bieber. That's ridiculous. Shane Bieber had such a great season. Look at all these players... Having success outside of the Dodgers organization. Wow. That Just blossoming outside of the Dodgers? Apparently, apparently they restrict their players and how good they can be. You hear isn't that, it, players? Don't sign with the Dodgers. Isn't it scary? Or you can come to the Dodgers and go to the World Series a few times. Once every 32 years. Win it? No. Yeah, I'll take that. That was all last year. What have you done so far this year? Nothing. Good. Angels have won, what, one? Hey, we're all back to zero. In their entire zero. franchise? We're all back to zero. You guys only have one in your entire history. We're all back to zero for the year. Woo! You sound like a Yankee talking about your past success. <laughs> Yankees have had, a lot, have had a lot of success. They've been yeah, pretty good. Recently, nothing. Yankees. I mean, you don't you don't see them making these relic cards for the Angels. There's Derek Jeter. Well, that's 20 Derek years Jeter. of the captain. Listen, on the Yankees. Great player. Imagine if Mike Trout was on the Yankees. Imagine if, oh, oh, first off, I stick to it. Joey Votto Ooh. as a Yankee, more famous and more popular than Derek Jeter. Just saying that. Joey Votto? Yep. 100%. Why Joey Votto of all people? Because Joey Votto is the most underappreciated player in baseball. And if he played for a he's team just, like the Yankees. He's just, he's he nice because he's he Canadian. Isn't he loves. Canadian? Uh, I don't know. He's just a good he's guy. He's nice because he's Canadian. All right. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate that. Sean will be here late night around 9 o'clock Pacific. Uh, to move illusions, I might have to just play Use Your Illusion 1 and Use Your Illusion 2 on repeat. I just might, folks. I just might for Illusions Day. Howie saying Bowers a stud. Hope he doesn't end up in blue and orange. Oh, the oh, there's our autograph right there. I think there's one per box in uh, in Jumbo. That's Josh James for the Astros. Austin Silva. Oh, Mets, right. Yeah, where is Bauer going to go? He's going to make a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of teams would like him. I wouldn't mind the Dodgers getting Trevor Bauer. He could slot in behind uh, Walker Bueller and Furious, maybe. Angels could use some pitching. They could use a Trevor Bauer. 
A little they, red hand. Okay, that's exactly what Artie Moreno would do. Stupid move like that. Um, <laughs> God, that's re- so. Why would you go like you? You're saying we're going for Brad Hand as if that's like that's like your number one free agent that you're gonna chase. Well, listen, we don't even have a GM in going place for yet. Brad we, I Hand. Can't, we, you can't have high expectations when you don't even have a, g- a general manager. You got to go for yet. Trevor How- Bauer and another pitcher and another pitcher, then Brad Hand <laughs> to revamp that. I mean. Otherwise, that hitting just goes to waste. This is the only thing we got. And 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 allowing your executives to drive home drunk. Not executive, ex-executive, executive at the time. Executive at the time, exactly. Just team culture. Oh, you're gonna start working on that. Yeah. Do you have uh, the short print, the variation codes are on CardboardConnection.com. Yeah. yeah, it's on CardboardConnection.com. I think Thomas went through the other case. He said he only found a few, but... Yeah, there was... Look at all those people throwing their hats into the into the field. Do they have to get another hat, or was that just a basic straw hat? Oh, Brad's got okay. So Shane Bieber got 30 first place vote. Kenta Maeda got some votes. No, Shane Bieber kind of ran away with it. Looks like it was Shane Bieber, Kenta Maeda, then Hyunjin Ryu, and then Garrett Cole, Keuchel, Lance Lynn. And then in the NL, it was Trevor Bauer, got a ton of votes there. Then it was Darvish, then Jacob deGrom, then Danielson. Danielson Lament got some votes. Max Fried and Corbin Burns, those are top, top six vote getters. Jose says the Angels should trade Mike Trout. They're wasting his prime in that sorry organization. That's yeah. here's the problem is, is that you can't you can never get real value back for Trout. You know, oh, he has no trade clause. Yeah. Stupid, stupid Trout. George Springer's a free agent too. People might spring for George Springer. Yeah, boo George Springer though. Um, here is the patch card, which I think are pretty neat. Rex said his song Coma on Use Illusion 1 is a beast of a song. Bipolar AF. Also, this patch, I could put this Max Scherzer patch right there. I'm going to make a patch jacket. What do you think about that, Sean? You know these uh, patches? Oh, I do. I, I want a blanket made out of them. A blanket? Oh, that's good, too. I was thinking I was thinking uh, a cool denim jacket. <laughs> yeah, Teddy and I were talking about it. Like, get a cool, like, denim jacket, right? Levi's denim jacket and, and just iron on these patches all over my jacket. You'd be you'd be the coolest kid on the block. That is for sure. He wouldn't get beat up at all. Be the I'd be the coolest kid on the block. It's like you don't have a baseball card patch jacket. I do. Now the only question was, should you get a a washed faded blue denim jacket or a gray denim jacket? Black. You go black denim jacket. Maybe not black. I think I'd go gray. 
maybe ugly Christmas sweater, how are you saying? Iron on those patches? I'd be down. Is that right? How are we saying the Yankees haven't had a Cy Young winner since 2001, Roger Clemens? Cleveland has five since then. Huh. Yeah, I think Prim brought up the idea, right? It's a good idea. You'd be the cool out. And then I, I told Teddy about it. Teddy's all on board, Prim. We're going to get those cool-ass denim jackets. It's going to be awesome. We'll be the coolest kids. And we'll um, imagine wearing that, wearing that to the national. Ooh, people, all the all the the hot ladies at the national will be like, "What? Who is? Who are those guys?" It's like, oh, that's Jaspies, with their with their sick denim jackets, with the 2020 Topps baseball update patches on them. Anyone who's been to the national knows. Knows how popular something like that would be. Uh, have I ever rocked the Canadian tuxedo? Yes, I have. But I not the same color denim though. Usually. I'll take a, uh, I'll go darker denim jeans with maybe like a gray distressed denim jacket. We'll go that the textures have to be different too. Otherwise, other than it doesn't look good. There's you Darvish relic right here. Second place in the Cy Young this year. The National in Richmond, Virginia. No, the the National Sports Card con, Sports Collector Sports Card Convention. That should be in Chicago next summer. It's supposed to be in Atlantic City this year, but pandemic ruined that. I saw a great photo. R.I.P. Alex Trebek. There, I read an article where Alex Trebek actually, one of his hobbies was uh, breeding race horses. I need to find out what horses, uh, just got to find out what horses that he, he bred and then uh, and bet on them. I wonder, wonder if his horse was was named like Daily Double. Oh, that'd be a great name for a horse, for Alex Trebek's horse. Anyway, the picture of him, I saw a picture of him in this article with a horse wearing denim on denim. Matching denim on denim. It's called, that's that's what Brad was saying, the Canadian tuxedo. It was, it was true to the stereotype. There's Alfonso Soriano with the Derek Jeter patch. It's manufactured, but it still looks pretty sharp. All these go to the Yankees, of course, Ron Held. How are we saying the denim jacket would have gone over wonderfully in Richmond, VA? All right. Maybe next time in, I'm in Virginia, I'll have to rock that. I had a, I had some distant family live in Richmond, Virginia Beach. Virginia, is that a place? Yeah, Connery was pretty old. Connery was pretty old. I, I guess Trebek, I think we kind of saw that coming, right? But yeah, it sucks that they, they all passed within days of each other. And um, But yeah, there are some good memes about Connery, Trebek, and Burt Reynolds in heaven playing some Jeopardy. <laughs> we meet again, Trebek. Fire when ready, Miss Money Penny. We we named the dog Indiana. Oh. 
<laughs> Got a lot of fond memories of that dog. <laughs> Your mother, Trebek. Ah. <laughs> ah. I'll take I'll take shorts for twenty four hundred, Alex. That is S words, Mr. Connery. S words. That's therapist. <laughs> the rapist. That's therapist, Mr. Connery. There's Zach Allen to one fifty. Yeah, classics. The episodes were classics. Luis Robert. There was a great, I think on the Saturday Night Live 40th anniversary special, there was an article where uh, an article or a social string of social media posts by Norm MacDonald who was saying that the brilliance of that, there's Francisco Lindor right there, the brilliance of that uh, sketch, when he was saying it was about, it was about hope. <laughs> it was about hope that Trebek was such a great guy, and that he just thought that this time they would these guys, these characters would take it take the game seriously. It's about hope, which was, which was nice. All right, the redemption is is nice. Is Luis Robert 1985 Topps Baseball Autograph Card Gold Parallel? That card is gold. That's number to 50. Number to 50, says Sean Jaspi. Wow. Remember, you hit the 1985 non-auto parallel. That was number to 50. That was gold. That was. That's right. That was the gold one. There you go. What a break for the White Sox. That's Austin Silva who won that spot. In that blaster, that filler break that we did on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, actually, I don't have to write down parallel. I write down on redemptions anymore because Top started putting the teams on there. There you go. Nice, nice. Do you expect me to talk? <laughs> no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Remember that in Goldfinger, Sean? I don't, but I do. I, I wow. Watch. You've never watched Goldfinger? Uh, no. Um, I went back and watched... Why do you hate cinema, Sean? I don't hate cinema. I like good stuff. Oh, so Goldfinger's not good. I didn't say that. Old classic James Bond movies, Sean Connery, not good. I like uh, Varsity Blues. <laughs> Varsity Blues. <laughs> Can't say anything bad about that. Oh, man. There's uh, Jake Marisnik to 2020. What about the, the hunt for the Red October? That's a great one. Ash. With Sean Connery and our young Alec Baldwin. And, Sh and I love how Sean Connery doesn't change his voice. <laughs> yeah, there was the uh, Denzel Washington one too. There was a good string of submarine movies. Uh, there was a submarine. Kelsey Grammer had a submarine movie comedy. Yeah, that was the one like down below or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, there was the Hunt for the Red October. Which one was the Denzel Washington one? Denzel Washington, Gene Hackman, maybe. What was that submarine movie movie called? Prim thinks it's Down Periscope, the Kelsey Grammer yeah, one. That's the, that's the one. That's the one. And then soon afterwards, like. Harrison Ford did K-19 Widowmaker. I saw a thing the other day that said the peak of uh, quicksand in movies was in the 60s, and they said 6% of, of movies had, uh, had quicksand scenes. 6%? Yeah. That's kind of a lot for quicksand. It's a very lot. <laughs> like 6 out of 10 movies yeah. would have quicksand featured in it? Oh. Or not 6, that's 60, but 6, six out, out of 100? Yeah. That's still kind of a lot. for. It's like seeing... Like a lot of submarine movies in like a small span of time. Well, it did. Remember, there was the same thing with like Twin Peaks and Dante's Peak and stuff. Right, 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 right. And like Volcano, Volcano movies. and. Yeah. Right. Oh, Crimson Tide, Prim and Sam Strayer. Thank you. Cr 
Crimson Tide was the Denzel Washington Gene Hackman one. I don't remember that as well as The Hunt for the Red October. Which is my problem. Demi Moore was G.I. Jane. A Few Good Men. Big Poppy goes to Austin Silva. Gary Busey and Demi Moore were in a movie together? I'm pretty sure it was also a... Uh, and on a submarine? It's also a submarine movie, I believe. Mm. Or maybe was it just a boat movie? I don't know. Was it a serious movie? I think so, yeah. I think it was like Are you thinking of G.I. Jane? That was the... That was the no, she is, taken over by like, uh, Demi Moore has done two military movies. He's done, uh, she, she did A Few Good Men, where, where she was Commander Joanne Galloway, and then, uh, then G.I. Jane. A Few Good Men, one of my favorite movies. That's right, yeah. If it wasn't for Sean Connery and all those uh, those those uh, James Bond pictures, there'd be no Austin Powers. There might be no Mike Myers. Mike Myers famously said he was conceived during a James Bond movie. That's a lie. I just made that up. Just kidding. I thought that'd be a, thought it'd be a, thought it'd be a fun connection. Do you expect me to talk? And Greg Allen felt different because it has the mat back on there, 66 out of 99. For the tribe, that'll be for Bill. Just one ping, Vasily. One ping. Chris Ricker, what's going on? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We had a little weird YouTube thing. I think around the world, YouTube just stopped working. Live streams especially stopped working. So we had to power through that. But I think things look like they're back to normal. Got about 40 people in the chat, so I think we're, we're, we're back to normal. Just wrapping up this break. And then... Uh, Let's see what else we can get into tonight. Uh oh, and then got Wally pipped. Uh oh. How Wally pipped got Wally pipped. How Wally pipped got himself. Ooh, another redemption? Any guesses on that? It's another, no, it's Randy Dobnek of the Mets. I thought it was going to be another Luis Robert for a second. 1985 Topps Baseball, no parallel. That goes to the Twins. That will be for Austin Moser. Got two Austins in the spray. No, 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 it, it was not, it was not you. It was YouTube. At first I thought it was us. It was like a, a streaming thing or a, sometimes they get goofy with the, you know, for like playing certain licensed music. Not all the time, but every once in a while YouTube doesn't like that. It does like some sort of policy violation thing and suspends our stream for like 15 minutes until we turn off the music. 
But it wasn't that. Then I checked Twitter, and it was like everyone was like, "Oh, it's all, it's all this." And there's a Luis Robert patch. Nice. <laughs> I guess that that'd be more that'd be more of a good-natured, fake news kind of thing, Rex. But I think in this day and age, how is that top loader not worthy of Luis Robert? All right. We've got three more jumbo boxes left. All right, so this this will lead us to the very end of the break, ladies and gentlemen. I think I myself am going to take a little bit of a break after this. I think everyone could use a breather after this break, and then uh, we'll come back, we'll go through orders, and we'll see what else we can get into. There is Late Night with Sean Jaspi, so he'll be popping on as well at around 9 o'clock Pacific. 12 a.m. Eastern, and I'm sure he'll do a ton of breaks with you tonight. I'm glad we got this out of the way, though, this this update. I was hoping we'd do a little bit earlier, but it's all good. We'll get this knocked out, and then that'll hopefully pave the way for open the door for a lot of breaks tonight. I think uh, I'm sure we'll do a lot of illusions tonight. We've got a lot of other, some fun basketball on the side as well. Yeah, I, I am going to allow myself a break, Rex. Authorize a break for myself. Christy as a man's name? Take that name back? Yeah. yeah, sure. Why not? I think I think I think in in this day and age in twenty twenty gender neutral names are kind of a kind of a big thing. I think they're nice. Christy could work. We have a kid that comes into the shop. I forget his name. We have a kid that comes into the shop. And uh, the first day he came in, this was like pre-pandemic, right when we opened. He'd come in and he'd come in every day and he'd like leave. He'd, he'd need like a top loader or something. He's like six or seven or something. He'd need a top loader or something like that. And he'd pay us like 25 cents and take a top loader. And his dad's really cool. I think his dad's like a first responder, firefighter, something like that. I think it's his great uncle. He was talking to us about you guys know who Chrissy Matheson is? And we're like, yeah, we know Chrissy Matheson. Hall of Famer Chrissy Matheson. He's just like spitting out all these cool facts. And like his great-grandfather or great-granduncle, it's Chrissy Matheson. That was pretty cool. This, that kid's going to take our job someday. There's Yadi Molina, 44 out of 199. Cardinals. Chris Parent. A quarter of toddler? Is that too much? I have no idea what we charge for dobblers, to be honest with you. 
Maybe it was a quarter for a handful of top loaders? I have no idea. How much do top loaders cost? Maybe he was dropping off a dime for a top loader or two. Does that sound right, actually? I have no, I honestly have no idea how much a pack of top loaders cost. I'm so, I, I'm on a, I'm on the, I'm on, in a different department of the, uh, does that sound right? Rex says it actually sounds right. We just end up, we just end up giving him top loaders at some point. And there's Derek Jeter with his own Derek Jeter patch. 20 years of the captain. He's the captain now. That goes to Ron and the Yankees. Sean Manea, autograph, baseball stars, auto. For the Oakland A's, that's for Yancey. Rex says when he visits us next summer, he's going to wait outside and send each kid in one by one begging for an empty flawless case. If there's any available, I see kids walking out with, with NT boxes and flawless cases every day. They go fast. There's Ben and Tendy to 75. And the patch. White Sox got that Luis Robert patch. There's a Nolan Arenado patch for the Rockies. Derek Hamilton. All right, second to last box of this entire break. And Derek Jeter again. All these will go to Ron Held and the Yankees. That could be a workaround, Prim. I'm not going to say that publicly, though. That goes to, uh, once again, Ron and the Yankees. Kershaw to 76. Stars for the big 
Branch Ricky. There's another Derek Jeter with his own patch. You ever watch Tim Conway as Dorf? Rex, you may have been speaking in in in, in Latin for all I know. I, I've never heard the word Tim Conway before, and I've never heard the word Dorf before. The Reds joined the NL 19, in 1890, Mark Rubin, saying 130 years is a long time for the Reds to wait for... Yeah, I was surprised by that, that tidbit. I didn't realize the Reds didn't had never had a Cy Young Award winner, which is crazy. I don't know what a Tim Conway is. I know what a Conway Twitty is. Twi Tweety? Twi Singer? Joey Votto for the Reds, speaking of the Reds. Dwarf on golf? I still don't know where that for <laughs> What is a dwarf? Is he a person? Is it a show? Is it... A comedy legend, Brad. It's obviously not legendary enough if I don't know him. Clearly not a legend. You're saying... I'll recognize him if I see him. I know Tim Allen. No. No, I don't know who this guy is. I know Mikhail's Navy. I know the Carol Burnett show. And I have no idea what dwarf is. I don't know what a red green is. I do know what a red skeleton is, though. So, I don't know. Tomato, tomato at that point? And we got an autograph. James Marvel. That's for the Pirates. That's going to go to Johnny Cannon. Here's Johnny. Oh, I know who Red Barber is. I know who Red Grange is. I know who Simply Red is, just not Red Green. If you don't know me by now, you will never ever ever own me. No one names their no one names their kids red. Is that probably Nick? Red is like a nickname, must be right. There's Gavin Lux to ninety nine.
How come no one's nicknamed Red anymore? And we got something for the A's. Jesus Lazardo. And that's going to go to Yancey and the A's. I hope Yancey puts it on his favorite denim jacket. Dusty, yes. Dusty's asking any breaks and get into that's happening tonight. You can get into all the breaks. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and pick whatever you want to do and it'll happen tonight. There's Ichiro, Yankees edition again for Ron. There's Mike King to 2020. Seventeen out of twenty five, Sunny Gray. A's edition. Another one for Yanti and the A's. Matt Davidson to 2020. Everything can break tonight. Dusty. Anything and everything. <laughs> Prism, that's the one thing we can't break. That obviously does not release until 12.02. That's why it says 1202 on there. Maybe we actually have to, people don't think those are just random numbers. Maybe we need to change that to actually feature the month. There's Daniel Vogelbach. Mental note, change those. Austin Silva with the M's. Yeah, everything can break tonight, Dusty. Can and most likely will. So get your spots and then wait for it to sell out, which should be quickly, and then we'll break it. Just 
Just that easy. That easy. Buy it, fill it, break it. Boom. Tonight. We've got another, what time is it? Seven o'clock on the West Coast right now? Here in LA, we've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Many, many hours that we're going to be on air. Game, concert, anything in LA, do you always drive or do you take public transportation? <laughs> Rex. I am an I am a Los Angelino. What do you think we do? Drive, obviously. When you have a motor vehicle like mine, a high powered motor vehicle like, like mine. You're not leaving that in the garage. Last patch is Max Kepler. If I go to a, in, to answer that question seriously, uh, if I go to like a concert or anything where I'm like, I guess all of those events involve, at least for me, involve a, a certain consumption of alcohol. Um, yeah, it's usually I'll, like I, I'll usually take like a rideshare service. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That was the double header. The recap will be in a separate video. So check that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're done. 2020 Tops Update Baseball Double Header in the books. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for watching with us. Really, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.